Now, when it comes to space exploration, organizations like NASA are always keen to stress the ingenuity of the vehicles sent out into the solar system, from giant telescopes to probes to vehicles designed to crawl across alien landscapes. But have you ever wondered what happens to the tech which doesn't get used? A rover designed and built by British engineers at Airbus was all set to go to Mars until its role in a mission to collect rocks from the Red Planet was cancelled. Now it's a robot on the hunt for a new job, as our science editor Rebecca Morrell explains. One state-of-the-art rover. It's skilled, it can drive autonomously, negotiate the most difficult terrain and cope in extreme environments. But now it's looking for work. Built in the UK, it's being tested in a quarry in Bedfordshire. It was heading for Mars until its mission was cancelled. Its task on the Red Planet was to pick up samples, but it's been scrapped. Mini Mars helicopters will do the job instead. The UK doesn't want to see their technology mothballed. They think this rover's still got a bright future. We've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort in developing this expertise. We don't want to let that go to waste. We want to exploit it and make sure that that investment um, comes to fruition. Also, it puts us in a good place to uh, be involved in future space missions, which is brilliant for the reputation of the UK. So where could the rover go instead of Mars? One option could be to swap the red Martian terrain for the grey lunar landscape. This rover was designed for Mars. If it's heading to the moon, it will need some modifications. The lunar surface can get as hot as 120 degrees Celsius and as cold as minus 230. So this will have to cope with extremes. There's also a problem with light. The moon gets two weeks of daylight followed by two weeks of darkness. And this will be a challenge for solar power. And then there's the fine lunar dust. It's particularly clingy and abrasive, which could be an issue for the rover's moving parts. Lunar exploration is having a resurgence right now. NASA's new Artemis rockets will soon be heading there and eventually taking astronauts to the moon's surface. The idea is to have a permanent lunar base and rovers could play a crucial role. It could be used anywhere that you want to do something autonomously. So it could be autonomously moving around rovers for, for uh, building habitats, or it could be used for going to places that are uninhabitable by humans or in, in an extreme of temperature or particularly dangerous. So anywhere that you want to do something autonomously, this, this rover could still use that technology to do that. For now, the rover's out of work, stuck on Earth, driving around a quarry. But this isn't just about salvaging a £23 million piece of kit, it's about the people and expertise that goes with it. The hope is the rover gets some new employment soon. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.